It's been a rough work day. The bounce is busting your ass. How you can think it is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine. Life can get you down, but you can take all the lids. Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine cannot fit. Sunshine friends, it's your pal Tommy T and my buddy Scott Levitt from Hopster Nation. What up guys, how are you doing? Of course we are here at Big Top Brewing Company. This is, as you know, the home base for Beer and Sunshine. If it wasn't for Big Top, Beer and Sunshine wouldn't exist. But uh, this is the first episode of 2020. This is episode number one of what we're calling season four. Um, and again, we're at Big Top. So we've got Big Top's beer here. We've got some of the good stuff. I don't know if you've tried Hazy Highwire, Circus City, a classic. That's what Scott's drinking over Start here. Start sipping while it is. I'm drinking the Hazy myself. I've been drinking this a lot lately. It is super delicious. Of course, we've got the Hawaiian Lion, Glazy Days. Man, if you haven't tried this one, this one is... Next time you're in here buying packages, which as you know, the breweries can't sell you beer in the tasting room. You can't hang out here and just drink beer. This was not sold to us, this was given to us, so it's, it's kind of okay. But uh, since you can't hang out and drink in the tasting rooms, you want to call in and order some beer, come pick it up. You know, they'll run it out to your car for you, which is pretty cool. We got Christy, by the way, that, that beer right there is dedicated to Christy. It's called Christy is My Home Girl, 69% alcohol. Damn. Just, just kidding, just kidding. It's not a real beer. We just thought it was funny. But uh, what else we got here? Wellies. We've got Intercoastal Amber, Intercoastal Amber, and then, uh, like I said before, back to the Circuit City over there. All the, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. Um, Wellies is newer, Intercoastal Amber is kind of a, a newer, the Hazy High Wire has been around for a little bit, um, but the Glazy Days, that's the one. Really gotta try that. Um, anyway, thanks for, thanks for checking us out, and uh, you know, today, kinda just wanted to introduce Scott and, and talk a little bit about about what he's doing with uh, Hopster Nation. Hopster Nation is actually about a movement. Um, we were talking earlier off camera and just talking about all the different breweries that are out there. And um, I'm doing a daily shout out. Um, and what our focus is is just to talk about the craft beer scene and how it, it is community and how we need to keep the community alive by going to local breweries and get the takeout. They need us now more than ever. Um, and so. I kind of mixed it one night I was out drinking, shock, and you know I'm a little bit hipster in my way and um, you know the hopster thing is if you don't know this is a hop um, is beer and um, I just came up with this line of t-shirts to uh, hopefully promote the hopster nation as a whole uh, where people are out engaging having fun rubbing elbow to elbow and drinking some great beers out here. Yeah and, and, and basically just like beer and sunshine it's about you know Supporting local with a cool t-shirt something fun, you know, what's better than a little beer and some sunshine not much Other than looking at that guy. He just coincidentally kind of looks like me with sunglasses on or even Scott here Scott Scott has got uh, people have asked him if he was the hopster guy. Uh, I, I will not I will not admit to it. <laughs> yeah, one of my buddies uh, Ben Jacobs if you're here in the Sarasota area You probably know him. Uh, he has a really cool band called Babel. He plays all over town uh, Randomly I got a uh, DM stating hey, you need to get on Facebook uh, he was doing an off-site like all the musicians are trying to do now to support their local craft um, Blessed that he had our shirt on and gave us some exposure and you know, that's what it's all about um, Just keeping it this all alive while this craziness is going on We will take 5% of the profit of each one of those sales and we'll give it back to the bartending staff at that brewery because for a couple of weeks we actually gave 25% of our proceeds uh, back to Big Top's uh, bartending staff, um, and that was stuff we we're selling on our own. This idea is more, you know, if you if the bar t if the brewery sells it, then we'll take a portion of that, our profit, and, and give it back. So, anyway, um, look for your cool beer and sunshine or hopster swag, you know, uh, at any local brewery. And if they don't sell it, tell them they should, because it's good stuff. It's a lot of a lot of, a lot of fun. People seem to really enjoy the stuff that we're we're making, but. Uh, uh, Scott, so what, how long have you been doing the hopster thing? Um, I'd say seven months, maybe. So, you know, again, it's it's not about the shirt. I mean, it is about the shirt because it is about community, but it's about the person wearing the shirt. And, you know, our, our tagline is, you know, supporting local craft brew one sip at a time. 
And what that means to me is you're going around to bouncing about, you know, around to the, over the 100, what, breweries we have in the area yeah, right like now. Yeah, over 100 in the Tampa Bay. Um, and it's all brotherly love, man. It's not just, you know, hey, we get, we're one brewery and we're standing alone because if that does happen, they're not in that brotherly love uh, community. So it's all about spreading the joy and sharing what's out here, man. And, and like I said, I can't stress it enough, people out there, please support locally right now. Get your takeout. Don't drink responsibly at home because we don't have to. Uh, right. Drink, drink responsibly at yes, home. Yes, exactly. We, we, yeah. need, I mean, we need a shirt like crush, for that. Like crush beer cans <laughs> on your forehead, stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. Take a key, stab the bottom, pop the top, yeah, crush I, it in like 30 seconds. I right? have never seconds. done one of those ever in my life. No? No. What is it? Shotgun. Shotgun. Shotgun, yes. That's I know people are really good. I've never Shotgun done is that. old school. It'd probably be all over my hopster. I do love Florida, but it's definitely Where are you from originally? Uh basically was born in, I was born in Connecticut. basically I was born in Connecticut. Uh, came down to Orlando as a wee little lad and then uh, have been in Florida basically all my life. All the all the yoga pants house moms. Or all just a bunch of bitches. Hey, and we're not talking bad <laughs> things about yoga now. Or pants. I no, no, no. Yoga's great. Yoga's great. Pants are evil. Pants are terrible. Well, yeah. not, I've seen some properly worn yoga pants. Oh, yoga, yoga pants are great. Regular pants are terrible. Actually, I was telling my wife yesterday that, you know, my new my new question from now on is when somebody invites me to go somewhere, um, my, my response is going to be, is this a pants or shorts kind of uh, that's, you know, dress? That, that's legit, but who's been asking you to go out during these times? They are a little shady, well, nobody, aren't you? No, no, no nobody's <laughs> asking to go anywhere. Just kidding. We're not always PC correct. Yeah. Well, well, we are here, other than we don't have a mask on. We're not, you know, we're not wearing masks, but... Um, yeah, we are, but... We're drinking beer. We're, 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 you know, this is kind of my mask. I actually, I can take my beard. I've seen those videos. And I can turn it up. Yeah, and they put it under their beard. I mean, under their hat. What? Somebody does that? Yeah, and they put the glasses on. Oh, that oh, I have not it's seen. Pretty funny, actually. Huh. Well, I don't think it's long enough for that. No, no it's definitely not. Pretty close. It's in my you nose. Tinier head. head. If I had a smaller head, that would work. <laughs> that's a great idea. I'm going to work on having a smaller head, guys. That's, that's going to be my plan for the rest of the year. Um, yeah. So. Um, what do you so what do you think's gonna happen here going forward? Let's just say thirty days from now this whole thing kinda of blows over and they're like, All right, you can go back out and go out into the streets. I think Uber crazy. is I, I would invest in stock in Uber or uh, Lyft because there's gonna be a lot of craziness out here. Because I know that I have been kept up what now a month? Who knows? I don't even know. Um, pent up, people are going crazy, and I know these bars are going to be. You know, oh, so you think as soon as as soon as they open the, the floodgates uh, and allow it, us back out into the wild, I guarantee you that people are going to get crazy. I think so. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let us know. Yes, yeah, so, you know, definitely. send send us a message, comment, whatever. However, this crazy internet. You better thing get works. to the bar stool before I do. Oh wow. No, I'm a stander. I don't like to, No, that's not true. I like yeah, I like sit. to stand mostly anyways. I like to sit, I yeah. think. I'm, I don't like walking either. Walking is terrible. I think walking is the only, the only thing I'm going to run to is a bar. I'm not running yeah. anywhere else. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, I, so you think people are going to just get crazy. They're going to come out and they're going to start drinking like nuts. I, and... I, if I was a gambler, yes, but I'm Irish. <laughs> I never win. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I do think, um, and I think it's going to be a, a new a new outlook on how we appreciate people and our friends that, you know, although they might be friends at a bar and a restaurant, yeah. but, but how you really did engage with them and build that bond. And then you couldn't see them for a month, for 45 days, whatever. Um, I think it's going to be a, you know, a new appreciation for that for staff and patrons. Um, so, and that, you know, that's what we're trying to keep, you know, the love alive at doing this right now, or, you know, whether it's on Hops or Nation, shout outs or sunshine a beer and sunshine um we're all about trying to he doesn't even know what show he's on he doesn't even know what show he's on oh, man this is it. pretty strong <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious beer that is a great that's a new england style ipa no, it's, it's good one Very of my good. favorites again this this hazy high wire is just ridiculous if you not as crispy as like a regular you sound IPA. like total pros yeah, beer, yeah. Don't we? <laughs> i'm today so i was volunteering here in the brewery in the brew house uh just they're literally so bored yesterday. I was asking them, you know, can I come up and do something? And say, you know, said, come up tomorrow and wash some kegs or something. When I got here, I'm like, man, what are what are the jobs nobody wants to do? Like, what? How can I get really dirty? I want to feel, I want to, I want to feel miserable and be sweaty and, and kind of do that. And uh, so they let me pull the grain out of the mash tun, which is which is where 
you know, the, bur the, the main part of the brewing happens, right? Where you're extracting. Where it all stuff. gathers, yeah. Yeah, it's extracting all the crap from the grains and that sort of thing. And um, man, that was miserable. I'll never do that again on purpose. <laughs> Definitely not for free. Um, and I'm literally still sweating, and I finished doing it like two, two hours But kudos, ago. you helped someone out. That was nice of you. Cheers. Yeah, I washed a few kegs. Yeah. <laughs> now, these, these guys are my family, so I... And this beer's free, so... I mean, hey, I'll hey, do anything for free beer. That's true. That is Literally true. anything. No. Literally anything. Oh, no. He might. No, uh, <laughs> just depends on how much beer I that's have. That's another again. podcast <laughs> that I'm not part of. No. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you have a farm and a lot of farm animals, call me. I got an idea for a show. It's going to be awesome. Please help. What's the safe <laughs> word? <laughs> we don't have one. Oh, we don't man, have a safe we didn't word. start that off with a safe <laughs> word. <clears throat> so, all right, so we think people are going to get out of this, this uh, quarantine thing. They're going to go nuts. They're going to run to the bar. Um, I think maybe people will uh, put their big girl pants on and start doing more shots. Maybe they'll start drinking. Meals. Now that people are home and they're sitting around, they're doing nothing but eating and drinking. They're probably Tolerance. inventing new drinks. They're probably, you know, growing a pair and drinking straight booze like, you know, neat and on the rocks and that sort of thing. Right. No foo foo mixers. Although I have come up with the best ghetto version of a whiskey sour. It's amazing. It's 50 50 cheap whiskey and Gatorade lemon lime with an extra shot of some lemon juice. And boy, you shake that up, pour it in a glass, you think you got served at a fancy bar. It's good. It seems like one of the videos I saw um, uh, in the closet wine. This guy literally makes wine in the closet from like uh, pure juice, welches. And he takes a, a glass out of this big jug, pours a ton of sugar, and I think he adds some starch or whatever, at, or yeast. Mm -hmm. And he lets it sit for like 30 days. And it's pure wine. And the guys get trashed off this for like six bucks uh. so he's been to prison that guy that guy is on parole for sure he call looks it? like he is <laughs> they should call it the, par the parolee vineyards parole parole hey. vineyards. closet vineyards hey. closet hey. vineyards closet would be awesome that would be great idea I'm sure there's still idea. a lot of people in the closet so <laughs> I think it might sell <laughs> although we're accepting of everything these days ah <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, <clears throat> I wonder what flavors has the guy made? How many different wines has he made? I only saw two. One was grape and then apple or something. <laughs> it was Anybody can make this is grape same, closet this, wine. This is the same guy that he got a pack of 12 hot sauces, put it all in one glass, and thought it would be fun to drink it. Why? And he only got a big gulp, and the guy basically cried. I mean, literally just poured it all into one glass and chugged hot sauce. Wow. So the guy's, he's got to be an Dude, that's comedic value at the highest level, though. <laughs> that is. I would like we to need to get him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, if you want to be on Beer and Sunshine, if you want to be on an episode, if you want to sit here and talk smack with me and Scott, drink some beer, you know, we encourage you to do that. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Beer and Sunshine with the Hopster. Yeah. 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 So beer, beer and Sunshine and Hopster, it's like the, it's the same thing. Just came from two different brains but it's the same exact thing you know we didn't re we didn't invent this wheel that's for sure <clears throat> but you know some good ideas here right if you got a good idea if you want to make some shirts or something like that or some cool hats or whatever i don't know we can help you with that too so um hmm. well i don't know I guess we're out of beer <laughs> <laughs> it's time, it's time to drink some more beer but uh Anyway, thanks for checking this out. We appreciate it. It's been fun. If you didn't know, we're ad living today. <laughs> As no, we will always. Always, <laughs> always. Uh, but, you know, usually on Beer and Sunshine, if you've never seen the show before, usually we have guests. Beer and Sunshine is all about supporting uh, the craft beer scene, drinking local, especially here in the Tampa Bay area where we have such uh, an abundance of, of craft beer. But literally over 100 different breweries here. Um, and we'll have breweries on as guests. Usually they come right here to Big Top and, and hang out with it, or sometimes we'll take the show on location and go somewhere. And even if it's not a brewery, it's something that supports craft beer. You know, guys like us are, you know, we love anyone that supports craft beer. If anybody is on the same mission, then um, they usually make great guests. I and mean, actually, some of the best shows that we've ever had uh, on Beer and Sunshine. Um, anyway, where you can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, just 
do a search for Beer and Sunshine. How do, how do people find you? Uh, Hopster, Hopster Nation. Hashtag Hopster Nation. Our website's uh, www.hopsternation. If you do see uh, Brewsware, B-R-U-E-S, it's the same thing. That's the parent company of Hopster Nation. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to get the love out there. Give us some love, man. We, you know, it's all about unfortunately follows, um, but we both need it. Um, and uh, the more that we're out there, the more we can give back to the locals. Um, and it's all about you know paying it forward. So awesome. cheers. Yeah. Thanks and for thanks checking for us time. out. Yeah, we appreciate it. Have a beer tastic day, and remember to believe in the power of beer. Hops dozen bitches makes the world go round. There's no excuses when I hit your time. Bottles in makes the world go round. There's no excuses when I come to town. Thank you.